Hello everyone, welcome back to Info Science. So today, in this video, we shall discuss about different reactions. So we all know that the composition reaction is what? It is the reaction in which a single compound breaks down to produce two or more simpler substances. So this decomposition reaction it is of different types so there are three types of decomposition reactions the one is thermolysis then photolysis and the another one is electrolysis so now we'll know this types of decomposition reactions one by one so the first one is thermolysis so thermolysis means what so it is the process in which the reaction is occurred by the action of heat so you see in the picture so here the copper carbonate is heated and when the heat is applied it turns into copper oxide and releases carbon dioxide so you see in this reaction here the breakdown of molecule is through by the action of heat so thermolysis is what it is the process through which reaction is carried out by heating next you see you see in the picture you see the white silver chloride so it turns gray in sunlight so this is why this is due to the decomposition of the silver chloride into silver and chlorine and that is by the action of light so the process in which the separation of molecules it occurs by the action of light is known as photolysis next is the electrolysis of water so electrolysis means what so this is the process of using electricity to decompose the water into oxygen and hydrogen so there are three types of decomposition reaction the one is the thermolysis that is the reaction which is carried out by heating then another one is photolysis that is the reaction that occurs by the action of light and the last one is electrolysis that is the process of using electricity to decompose the water into the oxygen and hydrogen now the next reaction is the redox reaction so this is another one important reaction so this redox reaction is in here both the reduction reaction and oxidation reaction it involves or takes place simultaneously so here oxidation reaction is what it is the addition of oxygen or loss of electron or even we can say the removal of hydrogen and reduction is the removal of oxygen or addition of hydrogen or it is the gain of electrons now to know this reaction in proper way let us see this reaction you see here the copper oxide it react with hydrogen and what is from copper and water so here you see the site of oxidation here it is the hydrogen and the site of the reduction it is the copper oxide so here you see the in copper oxide there is the removal of the oxygen and in the hydrogen there is the addition of the oxygen so here in this reaction the oxidizing agent is the copper oxide so what is oxidizing agent so this oxidizing agent it oxidizes the other chemical but itself it get reduced and 
here in this reaction the reducing agent is the hydrogen so here the hydrogen it is acts as a reducing agent and the reducing agent the hydrogen it reduces the other chemical but it itself get oxidized so this is the whole about the redox reaction now let us know about the corrosion so corrosion you mostly you see this at home sometimes we give uh, iron nails for long months or day months or years then it there is rust in the nails whenever we bring the new nails there is no any rust but when you keep the nails for longer period of time then there it occurs the rust so that is what it is known as the corrosion so corrosion is what it is the process in which the metals are eaten up gradually by the action of air moisture or chemical on their surface and it also reduces the strength and it fades its appearance so this corrosion so this one it can be prevented by the process of painting or galvanization which we will know it in the further chapters next is rancidity so rancidity means what so sometimes when we keep the food for long days then it become bad or it smell bad it taste become bad so why so this is caused due to the oxidation of fat and oil present in the food material so rancidity in this thing here the taste and order of the food material containing the fat and oil changes and when they are left exposed to air for a long time so this rancidity it can be prevented by adding the antioxidants to the food material or by storing food in the airtight container or even using the flask pack with the nitrogen gas yes.